What's up guys, it's me Torgo Pro. Welcome to this video. This is my PC running Windows 10 and I have decided to change the OS into an Android OS because there's a lot of apps that I want to use with the Android and this is how it looks like after the installation so you can see it right away. I have made a video before on how you can install an Android OS or a Chromium OS that is patterned from the Chrome OS of Google Chrome into an old laptop. However, a lot of people are looking for the support of Play Store or Google Play. Now, this Prime OS supports that one, as you can see right now. So you can install your favorite apps or games. Now, you can try and install this one as well into older laptops, newer laptops, and desktop. I'm going to walk you through how you can install this Prime OS Jump in and let's get started. First, you need to download Prime OS. Go ahead and type Prime OS here and it will direct us to the download page of Prime OS. Now, there are three categories we can uh, see here. Now, if you do not know which one to download, just click on help. In this page there, you will have information of which one to download. So you scroll down the first one prime os mainline 64 bit for newest system 2014 plus the second one is 2011 and up and prime os older versions so it, whichever your current device is right now what's the category that's what you're going to download so for me i'm just going to go for download for mainline i'm going to get the iso image and then it will take us to the download link. Click here to start download. And then it will take us to a mirror link. There you go. You can select either one here. Click. And then it will download that. Now it depends on how fast your internet will be. So it's basically going to take around 18 to 20 minutes for me. I'll be back when it's done. There you go. Fully downloaded. Show in folder. Let's check that one. There you go. The next one we need to take is your Rufus. This will be able to transfer the OS into your USB disk. So if you don't have Rufus, just type in Rufus to the Google and it will take you here. You can download the portable version. I'm just going to download that wait for it it's a quick download open it there you go no we don't need it at this time go ahead and plug in your usb stick there you go that's for me it's linux mint but i'm not going to need that one right now i'm going to open it on rufus that's the destination that's my usb device I'm going to find the download of Prime OS, open that one, and yeah, that's that's just about it. So Rufus will transfer the Prime OS into my USB stick. So we can use USB stick to install it to my PC. Right ISO image, okay. Warning, all data will be deleted, it's okay for me. It will start and it will finish. I'm just going to skip it to the end. It should turn ready. So we're done. We're good to go with our USB stick. Go ahead and check that one on my computer. This PC, there you go. Ready to rock and roll. I'm going to plug that USB stick into my Windows 10 PC. Same time, restart my Windows 10 so that we are going to boot into my USB stick and start the installation. For that restart, yeah, it has an update, update and restart. Okay, once this is going to restart, you need to know the boot menu key for your device. For me, that is F10. So I'm going to press F10 in the boot menu will show up i'm going to select the uefi usb this will show up go for advanced and then go for that 
auto install to a specific hard drive a specified hard drive i'll press enter and wait up it's going to roll up it will show up the available hard drive we have the hard disk kingston the other one is my flash drive so i'm going to select the kingston because that's the hard drive this pc is using you have chosen the auto install this is the last confirmation of course we are going to go for yes enter formatting partition expect to write 2669936 kb yeah so i did a fast forward here it will take you around 8 to 10 minutes for this one okay we're up okay 100 percent and let's just go and reboot so i'm just going to reboot this one and remove the usb stick that we are, we are using all right look at me waiting for it okay intel in uc this is a timer that is eight seconds so if you're not going to press enter with this prime os you need to wait for eight seconds so i just press enter and then it will continue to boot up okay since this is the first time it's going to boot up since it was installed it will take a while around um, five minutes i guess but in this video I, I i'll just cut it off so that we can move on Ta-da! Prime OS. Welcome to Prime OS. Proceed. You need to fill out the information here. I'll just skip this one. I'm just going to remove it from this video, especially my date of birth. <laughs> okay, so once you're done filling that one up, this is the license terms. Accept. Hi, welcome to Prime OS. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm so excited. Yeah, I was excited a while back because this is a voiceover. Let's start. All right. So this is the first view you can see. You have Play Store right away. But of course, you need to sign in with your Gmail with Google Chrome and Play Store. So go ahead and do that. I'll do it myself. You do it yourself. All right. And let's see what else we can do. By the way, we need to connect this one to the internet. So you have your start button there like Windows 10 or Windows oh, I mean, Windows operating systems. I'll just go ahead and add my network. Oh yeah, go for searching. I'll put in my password. Connect. We should be connected. Now it's time to log in with Play Store. I'm not going to show you how I'm going to log in. You will, you know how to log in, so that you're not going to see my password. Yeah, I'm logged in to Play Store. Let's try to install an app. Let's start with YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is there. So I guess we need. We are just going to open it because it comes with the OS. We don't need to install this one. Okay. There you go. Yeah, a lot of uh, videos of kids because this account is being used by my son. Okay, let's go for my YouTube channel, Trogi Pro. Yeah, there you go. Let's try to play a video. I want to see the response or I want to check. Yeah, I think that's cool. That's good enough. What else can we do here? Yeah, a lot of apps. What apps do you like? You can install that one. I want to try Google. How? how it responds with you know internet yeah i think it's yeah it's not laggy it goes in click prime os yeah more about prime os yeah i think it's really cool yeah if let me know your thoughts about prime os you give it a try it's worth trying i guess because this is my first time to use this one yeah, just drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this Prime OS. All right? I was just trying to install Facebook here. Now, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, 
make sure to click subscribe share this video let them know that there's an os that is good enough to run android apps and it's very very lightweight so tell them guys tell them i'm telling you this is Taroga pro see you in my next video goodbye